I got one package in the mail today, and it was an FCBM, so free cards by mail. Um, I don't know if this is a new user to the PokeTube community, um, but it's someone that I haven't traded with before. And he's a really awesome guy. His name is Atticus Rhodes. And he sent this custom card. And he contacted me because he had a lot, he saw that I was collecting or trying to collect one of every um, Pokemon booster pack wrapper. And he had a lot of older wrappers that he said he could send me for free. And then he also, uh, which I was not expecting him to do, if you read the card, said he also uh, says I also sent some cards uh for the I think it says here of it but it should probably say something else anyways um and enjoy so really really nice it's a custom card and I'm actually going to show the pack wrappers that he sent first um let's see I kind of have these sorted by set, but then I kind of mix them up. I did have them in, I think, in order of release date, but I don't have them anymore. But, oh well. So here is a Suicune pack, or here. Suicune wrapper from Neo Revelation. And until now, I didn't have any of the Neo wrappers. And Arcanine from Aquapolis, which I think I already have this one. Three of the four base set two wrappers, Pidgeot, Mewtwo, and Raichu, and I think the only one missing is, uh, I know it's yellow, and I think it has a Gyarados on it. Oh. From Neo Destiny, uh, Noctowl. From Neo Genesis, a Feraligator and Meganium. Um, the Feraligator brings back some fond memories, um, because when Genesis came out, I bought one pack, um, and it was a Feraligator pack, and I actually pulled a Feraligator Hollow in it. Um, and then shortly after that, I quit. <laughs> From Heroes, a, uh, Misty and, uh, Erica, maybe? I don't know if they say on the back. Yeah, Erica. Sorry, it's been a really long time since I've watched the old school episodes. Well, not really that long. I tried to watch some of them online last summer. From uh, Gym Challenge, the complete unlimited Gym Challenge wrapper set. Sabrina. Koga. Blaine. And Giovanni. So, really, really awesome. Um, actually, I'm going to save those two for later. A uh, Scyther from Jungle, and this is the last one I needed for my uh, Jungle Wrapper collection. And then Wigglytuff and Scyther, first edition. So I can zoom in on the first edition stamp. And these are the last two Jungle first edition wrappers I need. So I should have a complete set of both first edition and unlimited Jungle wrappers. From, um, yeah, complete Neo Discovery wrapper set. Smeargle. Scizor. Unknown. Or, sorry, Zatu. I'm looking at the unknowns in the background, so that's why I said that. And Umbreon. Really awesome Pokemon. Um, all unlimited. And I believe this is, uh, looks jungle. Um, from, uh, Japanese booster pack wrapper. And, I mean, I love the Japanese booster pack wrappers. I really wish they would um, make English wrappers as good as these. They pull out one of the jungle wrappers. I mean, don't get me wrong, Scyther's awesome. Um, but just, I love the detail. And, I mean, you've got Bellsprout, Rhydon, Butterfree, Mankey, Kangaskhan, Executor, Oddish, uh, Paris... Oh, and there's a pincer at the top. And I think that's it. Um, and then you got a volcano in the background amidst the tropical rainforest. I mean, that that's just... I love the detail. And 
Then in this one, you just have Scyther. But still cool either way. I just think Japanese gets a little bit better than we do. And then this, these are the big ones of the bunch. Um, a Venusaur and Blastoise um, pack wrappers. And they are actually, I believe, shadowless pack wrappers. And the reason why I say that, if I pull my binder out, is I have the three original ones. So here's the original um, base set wrapper. It says at the bottom, 11 additional game cards. Here's the one he sent. It says 11 tradable game cards. So um, artwork's the same, and it also doesn't have the um, it says trading card game underneath the Pokemon there, and it doesn't have it under here. Um, I don't know if it says anything different on the back, um, just because I have these taped down and I really don't want to untape them. Um, but yeah, just thought the differences, they're pretty cool. So, there's the Venusaur one, and they have the same thing on Blastoise. So you have 11 additional game cards, and 11 tradable game cards, and then they push the logo up there when they reprinted it. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, well, I'll pick it up later. Oh, and you can see my shelf with all my completed sets and in-progress sets. And there's the Fallen Wrapper. Hopefully no cats will come by and pounce on it before I'm done with this video. Okay, so now to show the free cards that he sent. So there's the custom card. And I'll start out with the cards that I'm going to be keeping because I don't have them yet. A reverse spinner rack from Aquapolis, and uh, the Aquapolis and Sky Ridge cards are really hard to come by now, or at least I'm having problems finding people that have them that are willing to trade them. So this is really, really awesome. A reverse Lotad from Deoxys. A Lugia from Neo uh, Revelation, which I actually already have, but mine has some edge wear along the side, so I'm going to put that one up for trade and keep this one since it's um, mint to near mint. Actually looking extremely mint. Um, so if anyone wants a one of these, a Lugia um, with some edge wear on it, still looks good in the binder, just has some edge wear, um, it will be available. And a Raikou f Rare from Sky Ridge which is really, really awesome. Uh, the Sky Ridge set, actually, I don't, except for the crystal cards, didn't put out any hollows, um, except for the reverse hollows, of course. Um, instead of the hollows, they just printed a ton of rares. So I pretty much count a, um, or consider a rare from Sky Ridge to be almost like a hollow. So, but that's just me. So those are the four cards I'll be keeping, um, all in really mint condition. So I really thank you for that help in my collection. And then all of these are up for trade. A Alakazam Hollow from the original base set. Pretty good condition, I'd say near mint. Um, looks like it's got a little bit of a smudge right there, but actually you could probably just wipe that off with a little bit of water. A Hollow Electrode, and I believe it's in French from the jungle set. Hollow Kangaskhan, um, I think this is also French, from the jungle set. Rare Clefable, um, I think this is French, yeah I'm seeing a few French words in there, sorry I saw one Spanish word so I wasn't sure. Um, so Clefable Rare, Japanese Venomoth from jungle, um, hollow. Blaine's Arcanine Japanese from Jim Challenge. Erica's Venusaur Japanese Hollow from, um, I actually don't know if this is Jim Challenge or Jim Heroes, but the Jim series. A Ninjas Hollow from Deoxys. A Nidoqueen Reverse Hollow. You see the Pokeball that shows it's a reverse. Um, from Fire Red Leaf Green. And you could probably see the rever cool reverses in the back. And a Agron EX mint condition. Actually, all of these except for that Alakazam that has a smudge are in mint mint condition. So 
I'm about out of time. I wish I could show this one more. Um, but again, Atticus Rhodes, go subscribe to him. He's awesome, and these are for trade.